Hi guys, Jamie from Mel Devon Sewing. Firstly, a big apology because I've not blogged, I've not made a YouTube video or anything for so long. To be honest, I've not been on social media very much at all. The reason being, we've just moved house, so everything's all up in the air. Um, actually, the sewing room's a real mess because it's only temporary. However, the video I'm about to do is something I've meant to do for so long and I've just not got round to it or other things have got in the way. And that is, you probably know, I make lots of shirts and jackets and coats. The one thing that's always, always annoyed me is getting really, really neat points. And I mean points on your collar, points on perhaps the notch of a jacket. And actually, it's a really, really simple thing. And I see people so often getting annoyed with the fact that they, they haven't got a very, very good point. So I'm going to show you the way I do it. Now, we've all made a collar of some point, you know, a couple of bits of fabric sewn together. We grade, trim the seams, turn it through, okay, and then we might have a point turner and we start poking around to try and get the point in the right place. Or a pencil, that'll do, you know, start poking. Or indeed a skewer, that always works. And oh, until it goes through. To be honest, none of these methods will work really, really well, okay? You'll never get a nice crisp sharp corner you'll always get a slightly rounded corner or a hole in the end and the thing is if you're using very very fine fabric then of course it's really really hard to get a very very crisp corner um, this technique works for so many different things that you're going to make okay anything that's got some form of corner this method will work for so let's have a go so here is the actual collar I'm going to be working on for this tutorial. Um, we've got right sides together, this particular collar has got a collar stand built in and I've pinned it all the way around okay, just to hold it all together. You'll notice that I've marked the seam line, i.e. the corner, there and there. So I'm going to sew along here, turn and then continue out and the same for the other side. Okay, so we're ready to go sewing the two collar pieces together. I'm going to start on the short edge and I'm going to head up towards where we've marked our corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop one stitch before we have to turn. Okay, so we've stopped there. Needle is in the down position. I'm going to lift the presser foot. I've got a piece of thread, and this is top stitching thread, nice and thick. I'm going to feed it between the layers of fabric. Okay, you may need to move pins if you've pinned lots of places, but just tuck it in between so it pulls tight against the needle. So we've got one piece going out there and one piece going out there. Drop your pestle foot and do one more stitch. Okay. You've sewn over the top of this piece of thread. Lift your presser foot up again, but still with the needle down. On the right hand side, bring your thread around and tuck it in where you put the thread on the left hand side. Tuck it all the way through the fabric. Okay. You should have two ends of thread here and here, 
and if you pull them they're against the needle and actually if you pull you can see the needle move okay bring them down so they're out of the way okay drop your press foot again just so you can check nice and tight turn the corner needle still in place drop the presser foot here's our bit of thread between the fabric continue to sew your seam Again, we're going to stop one stitch before we have to turn. Okay. Press a foot up, remove any pins that might be in the way. Take a nice piece of thread between your layers. Okay, make sure it's tight against the needle. Drop your presser foot, stitch once, lift your presser foot, take the right hand side around, still between the fabric so it meets up with the thread the other side. Make sure it's out of the way, keep it taut. Turn down to the final side. So I've graded the seams by trimming them back a little bit and then on one side I've trimmed it half the distance. I've also clipped the corners but not too close to the stitch lines. Now we can turn everything through to the right side and of course you're going to have these pieces of thread give them a little pull both ends and when you're happy you've got a really nice crisp point Take one side of your thread and literally pull it through. Same for the other side. Pull it through. Now get your iron on, make sure your seams are where you want them and give everything a good press. And there we have it. One beautifully crisp point. And if I zoom in, you can see. Okay, that's really good. If you compare it to a similar collar point that was done using a point turner, there's no comparison. So next time, have a go with a bit of thread. Pull your points rather than push them. Anyway, until next time, and I hope I will be blogging a lot more often and videoing a lot more often, have fun sewing, and I look forward to speaking to you all soon.